girls, welcome to writing. It is Monday. And I wanted to tell you, I am impressed by the letters you have been writing. And believe it or not, you have made some amazing, amazing opinion letters as to why you chose the book that you chose or the character you chose. So today what I want you to do is take a peek at our opinion writing checklist because before we can actually publish something, we need to make sure that we did our very best work because when writers are ready to share their writing, they give it one last read looking for ways to make it even better. So let's look at this, boys and girls. What is something you possibly as a writer could work on? Did you write your opinion and give reasons? Did you have a beginning? Hmm. I connected parts of my piece using words like also, another reason, because. I wrote an ending. I have different parts and I wrote a lot of lines for each part, just like we wrote last week when I wrote my letter to Audra. She, oh, she loves Mercy Watson, so I didn't have to really clue her in on a lot of those things about him, but with Garrett, I did. He's never read that book before. Uh, did you write two reasons in a couple sentences why? Did you use the right words that would help the readers agree with you? What did you do for spelling? Don't forget about spelling patterns. What about your word wall words? What about quotation marks if characters were talking? And apostrophes? And of course, periods, question marks, and exclamation points. So boys and girls, I want you to go through your final letter today. Give it one last read, make some edits, and then we can publish them. I'll also have this up there for you also on Seesaw for you to check. And this is a nice little checklist also, okay? And it kind of sums up this, except for this top part. That's all about your opinion. So we need to make sure that you have that in your letter, okay? And then when Wednesday comes around, we will be moving on. All right, guys, good luck.